I knew nobody in business. My father worked at a steel plant um, near Gary, Indiana, and um, I'm a first-generation college graduate. And so when I started on my work journey, I had really no sense of where it might take me. Frankly, I've been working for a long time. The first job that I had with my name on a paycheck was when I was 16 years old, and I worked at the Osco Drug Stores here in the Chicago area, one by my house. And believe it or not, I started out in the candy and tobacco department because they came off the same truck, and then I was promoted to cosmetics. So it's kind of interesting how it all comes full circle. I had some ideas and points of view about how to make things easier and simpler. I didn't really have an avenue to um, talk about those. So one of the things I do a lot at Ulta Beauty is spend time with our associates learning about what's working and what's not working every day so that we can improve our operations and hence our guest service. The first professional job I had was in 1984 at the Quaker Oats Company, and honestly, this was the job in the company that really put my career on the trajectory that has landed me where I am today, a fantastic consumer packaged goods company in Chicago. I then went to McDonald's, where for five years I was a global chief marketing officer, which was an amazing experience. And then I became the CEO of a telecom company here in Chicago called U.S. Cellular which I did for three years, and then ultimately six years ago became the CEO of Ulta Beauty. So the common thread in all these businesses, believe it or not, there is a common thread, is that they're all around consumer and guest experience, and, and I've learned a lot about leading through values and culture along the way as well. Being a first-generation college graduate, putting myself through college, working my way up the ladder, trying to learn about the politics in the world of business while I was still pretty young, um, but then being able to parlay that leadership and results into higher levels of responsibility, it's not always been easy. I don't think I've ever been on the spec for any job that I've gotten. Um, Ulta, I believe, was looking for somebody with a deep retail experience, which I really didn't have. What I did have was the ability to really lead through consumer and guest insights and values and culture. Frankly, I like to share that story because I do think anything is possible. And I guess my story is a little bit like the American dream with you know both my grandfathers coming from Ireland and, and me being able to make my way to be a Fortune 500 CEO. It's pretty remarkable. At this stage of my career, and it's been about 35 years now that I've been working, I'm really, really proud to be running a business that is 92% women. Our board is over 50% women. Uh, my leadership team is 50% women. We have many people that have started with us as a part-time cashier, and the next thing you know, they're a general manager, a district manager, or a regional vice president. So at this stage in my life, I'm really proud about the fact that we have a diverse workforce, and right now we're really focused on how to make sure that we're the most inclusive company that's, that's out there.